Hello, welcome to No Inches DIY. It's a bit of a lawn mowing video today, but this machine that I'd previously lauded on my channel has decided to give up and it hasn't done a lot of work. It's obviously got some kind of electrical power supply problem to the motor and it's working very intermittently. So hopefully can fix that or replace but it is the second one of these that I've had a trouble with. I might pull the pin on the Ryobi corded whipper snipper. All right, so before that, whilst that was giving up, I was able to do these edges here. And obviously I put lunch on the Barbie and dessert out in the sun to ripen up. So this new product I'm gonna to review today, Victor 18, inch which i'm ashamed to say something with inches written on it is sold in australia uh, it's a mulch or catch classic cut now this cost uh 3.99 it's to replace the tiger one that i bought which could not cope with the gum nuts that are available on this property for lawnmowers to hit and it says here this is suitable for a small yard up to 300. I, my yard is at least 300 of lawn. Let's take this knife, liberate this from the box. All right, what have we got here? The receipt, keep that. Okay, top of the catcher. Bottom of the catcher. Right, they look like they just click together. Handle grips. Our hand wheels, a little screwdriver, uh, extenders for the handle. And here we have the unit. They're promising me here. E starts easy, our starting promise. Engine is Briggs and Stratton. It's a 140cc, so slightly bigger than the cheap Tiger one. Bigger motor, but also an extra 50 mil on the cutting disc. So it'll be interesting to see how much power this thing's got. But it is obviously a better brand of motor. It's got a warning label on here. Engine has no oil in some. SAE 30 oil to sump prior to starting the engine. Refer to engine owner's manual for oil volume. I'm finding it difficult to find, but the last mower needed half a litre. So I'll just put 400 in and see how I go from there. Now the reason I'm doing this first is it takes time for the oil to settle. A few bubbles. Whilst I wait, I'll put the rest of the unit together. Now, because I'm in Perth and we have really ordinary white sand soils here, I probably will only use the mulching function on this. I've been told it's really good. So, I don't really want to take nutrient off the soil. So if I can mulch up the grass and use that, that's what I shall do. I thought this catcher was diagonally aligned, but it was just the way it was bent in the box. That's going to be a bit of a struggle to get this on. First one. See how one's diagonal to the other. It's 
suppose you'd end up like that if you were squashed in a box for months on end. All right, they're all locked together. Once I do up these two screws, and then that'll all lock together. All right. Mulch maker. I was wondering if there was a separate attachment for the mulch maker, but apparently that's it. I think all it does is just redirect the grass clippings back through the blade so they mulch up. No, it sits like that. It's perfect. Nice seal there so the grass just stays in there, spring loaded on that, looks like it holds it in. I've been very diligent with picking up the gum nuts because I don't want to spend $3.99 only to have another bent shaft, but you know, there's always the possibility that you miss one. All right, I'll check this dipstick. Hopefully I've got enough oil to get the show on the road. Not quite. I have just over half a litre in this bottle, so we'll see how close I can get. A bit of petroleum in there. My boots are on, glasses are on, earmuffs will be on. There. Give this a go. Pump it up. Three. Little bit of throttle. <laughs> so, in probably 30 minutes, I did the front garden, all this and the verges for the two neighbours. So I did encounter a problem though. I hit a brick. And this is a feature that the other mower didn't have, is these blades that can hit something and retract so you don't do damage to the shaft. I can feel the bolt in there, I can get to it, I've just got to get the right size. Takes the 916th, I hate to admit, it's an Australian brand and it's all imperial measurements. No shame. get this a bit looser then I should be able to flip that around and hopefully no damage done Hopefully when I restart this, nothing's bent and we can just get straight back into it.
So that's the Victor 140cc. It got through this uh, yard pretty good. It wasn't as heavy as it was when I first tested out the Tiger, but it got through it okay, reasonably quick. That extra bit of width on the thing there makes a huge difference. You wouldn't believe it, but an extra 50 mil makes quite a bit of difference. And that mulching function looks really good. Only trouble is the areas where the heaviest, where the grass is the heaviest get the most mulch. So I'll have to just uh, get the rake out and redistribute some of that goodness. But I'm very happy with how this performed. Very, very happy.